The topic of this video is finding the domain of the sum, difference, product, or quotient of two functions. Let's look at a problem. Given f of x equals the principal square root of the product 5x, and g of x equals 9x minus 7, find f over g of x and its domain. Okay, so the name f over g is telling me that I should take my function f of x and my function g of x, and I should divide them. We know that f of x is equal to the principal square root of the product 5x, and g of x is equal to the difference 9x minus 7. This is the first moment in my problem when all of my names have been removed from my problem solution. So this is the part where I'm going to stop and go and determine my domain for this problem. Then when I'm done finding the domain, I can come back and try and simplify further. All right, step one is to start with all real numbers. Step two, even radicands greater than or equal to zero. I do have an even radicand. This is a square root. The index is two. So the radicand, the thing underneath, has to be greater than or equal to zero. Dividing by five on both sides, I get x is greater than or equal to zero. which as an interval is bracket zero comma infinity. Step three, log arguments greater than zero. There are no log arguments. Step four, denominator is not equal to zero. I do have a denominator, so nine X minus seven is not allowed to be zero. Adding seven to both sides, nine X is not allowed to be seven. Dividing by nine on both sides, X is not allowed to be seven ninths. So I have to remove the number 7 ninths from this collection of numbers to create my final answer for the domain. Let's look at a number line because I think that will make it a little bit easier for everyone to see. First of all, let's graph the numbers that are from 0 to infinity. That would be 0 and all of the numbers that are bigger. This is the domain we had at the end of step 2. All numbers that were 0 or larger. But now we have to remove the number 7 ninths, which is a positive number, which means it's somewhere in here. So we need to introduce a hole on our number line to skip over the number 7 ninths. This is going to divide our graphed interval into two intervals. The first will be the numbers from 0 to 7 ninths, and the rest will be the numbers from 7 ninths all the way to positive infinity. So, as an interval, our final answer will look like this, bracket 0, comma, 7 ninths, parenthesis, union, parenthesis, 7 ninths, comma, infinity. Okay, so now we have all of the elements of our domain. We're now ready to go back and continue simplifying this problem if possible. So we look at what we have, and we conclude there's nothing here that we can simplify. So our final answer is simply rewritten as what we had before. There are two questions, and that's why there are two answers to this problem. Find f over g of x. That would be this. Find its domain. That would be this. All right, we finished this problem.